This is the patient compartment of the EC-145. This is a mobile intensive care for us at Children's Mercy Transport. This is our pediatric stretcher, so we have room for a very large pediatric patient. We are a three-person medical crew plus a pilot, so there is plenty of seating. For us, we have the capability of bringing back one parent, our crew of three, and then our pilot in the front. We transport registered nurse, respiratory therapist, EMT, and a pilot. Usually our pilot and our EMT are in the front and are more mission driven where the registered nurse and the respiratory therapist do all the work back here. This can become an operating room, it, bec it becomes an, an emergency room and an intensive care unit for sure. This is a pretty stripped down version for the show. We have lots of our equipment at home that's not in this, but typically if this aircraft was ready to go, you would see a respirator, you would see monitors, you would see IV pumps. It would be fully loaded, just like what you would expect to walk into in an intensive care unit, only much more condensed. But as helicopters go, there is a tremendous amount of space in here. There's such good versatility. So if I can't get to my patient in a good way in this seat, I can move to that seat or that seat. These seats swivel and they slide up or down so that the medical crew can actually really get good access to their patient and get their work done. It all lights up. It can be as bright as an operating room. For those children that we transport that are more coherent, we actually have a DVD player. We can play a movie that will calm them down, put a headset on them, and they travel to the hospital and they are comforted and they love it. So we really use that as more of a, a comfort therapy. And when the parents are with us and they see how well this operation is working, then their comfort level also uh, Comes, comes into play and they feel a lot better about, about what's happening. We meet people at the worst time in their life and so when they see this operation and they see how smoothly it works, they're very comforted by that. We can transport two pediatric patients if we need to and what happens for that is the back chair here pops out and this chair slides up and so the two medical crew would sit towards the front of the aircraft like I am right now in the aft facing seats and then the two stretchers would slide in side by side. There's a couple of rules with that. If they come from different families, both families have to agree to the transport if they're not related, and they cannot be infectious. So if somebody has a fever or an infection and the other patient has a broken leg, we could not transport them together. They could not infect each other. Most of the times, if we have to transport two, and we don't transport two patients very often, we like to only transport one at a time the patients are less acutely ill and we're, we're, one team is capable of handling two patients. Where most of the patients we transport are critical and it is one team per patient. If we were gonna transport a neonatal patient, that is a patient that could be premature up to 30 days of age, we would bring a different setup that would actually have an isolate or an incubator, some different gases like oxygen and air, some nitric oxide, whatever that patient may need. So a neonatal patient is actually our heaviest patient because of the equipment that they require to keep them alive. They also take up the most space in the aircraft because of their equipment. So we're actually limited to only transporting one neonatal patient at a time in this aircraft. I have the greatest job in the world I meet people at the sickest time, the worst time in their life, and if I can get them back to Children's Mercy Hospital to the specialists that are gonna make them better, I know I've done something at the end of the day, and that is worth it. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.